I want to read this through to you here back here. Not another deck here today. We're looking at the Enida deck, the second edition called Legacy of Neptune by Full House. It does have a nice foiled tuck case with some embossing. Premium embossing foiled tuck. It does have a custom seal. And it's a special stock, it says, whatever that means. <laughs> And it is printed by Noir Arts Flame Cards in the Ukraine. So shout out to them for getting these products despite everything going on there out to backers. And producing nice decks. And, you know, support. I like to support the Ukraine, the Noir Arts in Ukraine. I think we all should. So the front says Unida on there. Nice figure. And on the sides as well. Almost kind of a pearlescent stock, maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe that's the special part of it. A knight on top. Add copy on the bottom. Designed by Oksana Tornovska uh, for Europe. Yuri, Yuri Kurbus, I should say, not Europe. And yeah, and in the back, nice artwork. And the custom seal is very colorful, very nice. Stamp seal. I took it off because when I, I was going to, you know, do my usual cutting, but it just flipped off the top. So I figured, eh, I'll take it off. And then here it says O Ternovska, the designer. It definitely looks like a pearlescent stock of sorts. A spade in the heart on the flap. We get to the cards. Uh, I will tell you that this deck, like quickly, is uh, the name uh, Inida is also known as Ined, hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly, which is an epic burlesque travesty poem based on an ancient plot of Virgil, but with the Ukrainian features as opposed to, I guess, Greek. So, it's pretty cool. So they got, like, Cossacks instead of, um, I forget what it was I saw earlier when I got the information. And, of course, it's dedicated to the god of the water and the sea, Neptune. It does have gold metallic inks as well on the backs. It is a bust and infinis. I, I don't really see the gold metallic ink, but maybe it's just me. It's a very colorful back design. And you see a Viking figure on there. Nice colorful design. Full bleed, borderless design. The Jokers, there's Zeus. Also known as whatever that is. Zevik. And then you get another one that's Genesis. This one just has the stars in the corner. That one says Joker. And then there's Neptune. And then the Aces. We got that. Nice artwork. I believe it's essentially the same artwork as the previous version that was in red. Except that it's blue. I don't know if there's any changes. I don't have the other one inside next to me here to compare it to, unfortunately. And the court cards feature all sorts of figures. There's Torn. The Duna. Primo, Aeneas, Niz, Lavinia, Latin, there's a guy named Latin, that's hilarious, Lo, or Eul, Gino, Vander, Sybil, Evriel, and then we get back to the number cards, they all have some custom artwork on them, I'll scroll through them. Some have figures, some just have items. But you see Ukrainian elements, you see Greek figures. Pretty interesting. Plus there's all sorts of information on the project page if you want more information. I know sometimes people say, oh, you didn't go in depth enough or whatever. I won't as if I don't. But I don't want to make it a super long video, you know. Uh, yeah, nice embossed thinness. As you can see, the backs look very nice. It's, well, it's not designed for cardistry, but it's fine. It's an art piece. <laughs> I know some people want me to fan it the other way as well. <laughs> uh, overall, pretty nice deck, artwork-wise, quality-wise. It's fine for what it is. 
So I will give it a... I'll give it an A. I'll give it an A. It does spread pretty nice. So yeah, that is that. Comment, like, subscribe, what you you think. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hit the bell and subscribe and all that wonderful stuff. Thank you so much.